Good evening, friends, and welcome to Double Your Money. This is a game that everyone can play, and I hope you will play it with us. Even kiddies in school play Double Your Money. Johnny, what's twice two? Four. May, what's twice four? Eight. Cleopatra, what's twice eight? Sixteen. And now for the little boy on the end. Do you know the answer to the 32 pound question? This kid's crazy, I'm the question master. <laughs> Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is the master of ceremony and the star of tonight, Huey Green. Thank you, friends. Thank you. Thank you, friends. Bless you all. Thank you very much indeed, and welcome to our very first show on television of W Money. Before we start the show tonight, I would like to take a few moments and explain to you and to our friends at home exactly how we play the game. Now, uh, all our contestants are chosen from the studio audience, and they, in turn, have the choice of choosing from subjects, which you can see here on the board behind us. Now, there's all kinds of subjects. There's architecture, dogs, films, fashions, all the way through to zoology. So they have a chance to choose from those 42 subjects. Now then, once they have chosen the subject and they start, there are six parts to every subject. The first part is for a pound, the second part for two pounds, four pounds, and so on, up to 32 pounds. Now, between each question, I turn around and I ask the contestant, I say, would you like to double your money? And if the person says, well, no, Huey, I'd like to take the money I already have, we give them that money and we're delighted to see them go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only kidding, really, I'm only kidding. However, if they do try, and say they try for 32 pounds, they got 16 pounds, they try for 32, and they don't know the right answer, they lose, then as my good friend Jimmy Wheeler says, they've had their lot. So that's that. Now, on our show, we have a thousand pound treasure trail, but more about that later, because now I would like you to meet the first contestant on television who wants to play Double Your Money. Here we are. All right, sir. I want you to turn around so as you can see all our nice friends in the audience, our nice friends at home. Sir, first question, what is your name? Mr. Harding. Mr. Harding. Alan Harding. Alan Harding. Could I call you Alan? Would that be all right? You may. That's very nice indeed. Now, Alan, whereabouts are you from? Uh, New Southgate. From New Southgate here in London? That's right. Mm hmm Fine. And what do you do for a living? I work as a clerk. You work as a clerk. Well, that sounds good. Where do you work? Anywhere interesting at all? Arsenal Football Club. Arsenal Football Club. Any Arsenal supporters here tonight? Arsenal? <laughs> You can see that some of them are for you anyway, can't you? A few, yeah. a few of them, I see. All right, well, now, that's very nice. How long have you been at Arsenal? Well, about eight years. You've been at eight, eight years at Arsenal. Are you going to win this year? Well, you can't tell. We've got a young side. I think we have a good chance. You have a young side. Well, that's very nice. I'm available. I'm only 25, you know. I'm <laughs> 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 All right, now, tell me, what would you like to talk about this evening? Football? Uh, no, no, geography. Geography? Oh, yeah. You interested in geography? Oh, it's my pet subject. Your pet subject's geography. Fine, we're going to get some geography questions for you right now. Thank you very much indeed. And let me see, here are the geography questions. Geography is very mixed up these days. Have you found that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, the first question now is for a pound, and after that I ask you if you want to double your money. Here comes the question. I want you to name me, sir, three European capitals. Of which countries? Well, are you, can you give me any countries? Well, yes. Well, I mean, uh, I'm not particular this evening. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just let's throw around any three countries you happen to think about for a pound. It's only a pound. Uh, Madrid. Uh, Madrid. Belgrade. Bel Bucharest. Belgrade, Bucharest, and Madrid. He's quite right. He's won a pound. All right. Pound <laughs> All right. You did say the name was Alan, didn't you? That's right. Fine. Alan, W money? Yes, sir. Here we come. For two pounds, which is the smallest county of these three? Kent, Rutland, or Middlesex? Rutland. Rutland? Yes. Do you think you're right? Definitely. You're quite right. Rutland is the answer. Uh, am I going to be all right to get a ticket to the, uh, the we'll match? See, we'll see how far I get. <laughs> We'll see how far you get. Yes, I won't commit myself then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we come. W money for four pounds. Fine. For four pounds, I want you to tell me where are the Azores Islands and to what country do they belong? 
Well, they belong to Portugal. Right. They lie to the northwest of uh, Madeira. The northwest of Madeira? In the, uh, well, it's west of Portugal in the Atlantic. In the Atlantic Ocean. Do you think he's right? Yes! Oh, you're all quite right. He's won four pounds. Four pounds. Very good. <laughs> Alan, you're really in there, boy. Double your money for eight? Oh, yes, yes. You can take the four if you want, you okay. know. <laughs> all right, here we come for eight pounds. Right now, for eight pounds, I want you to tell me which of these British mountains is the highest. Snaefell, Snowden, or Ben Nevis? Oh, Ben Nevis is the highest in the British Oh, it's good. It's good. <laughs> Do you happen to know the height? Uh, 4,406. 4,406? Yes. I've been about halfway. <laughs> Eight pounds, eight pounds. Now, Alan, you've got eight pounds. What do you want to do? Double your money? Yes. All right, boy, here we come. For 16 pounds, I want you to... I'm going to show you a picture. I'm going to show you a picture of a famous harbor and city. I want you to tell me which, which city, which harbor it is. Very beautiful picture. Isn't that nice? That's for 16 pounds. No clues. No clues, no, no, there it is, the big, big harbor, very well known, too. Well, I'll never guess at Rio, is it? Rio, Rio... Rio? Rio Bay. Rio Bay? Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. Well, He's, no, won like He's won 16 pounds. He's won 16 pounds. All right. Now, you've got 16 pounds, Alan, what do you want to do? Double your money? Or take the 16? Hey? What? All that? Now, wait a minute, fast, I'll fast. Go, yeah. You what? I'll, I'll carry on. You'll carry on. All right. All right. Now, here comes the question for, 60, for 32 pounds. Canada has 10 provinces. I want you to name them for me. 10 provinces in Canada for 32 pounds. I want well, you to name them. Are you including Newfoundland, first of all? Yes, because that is a province in Canada, Newfoundland. Uh, well, east or west, Newfoundland. Yes. Nova Scotia. Right. New Brunswick. Right. Uh, Prince Edward Island. Right. That's the little four in the east. Right. Uh, Quebec. Right. Ontario. Good. Uh, Manitoba. Right. Saskatchewan. Right. Two more to go. Alberta. Right. And British Columbia. 32 pounds. <laughs> you when the show started we told you that we would explain a little bit later on about our thousand pound treasure trail now Alan I'm going to tell you about the thousand pound treasure trail we have a treasure trail question here if you answer that treasure trail question you can still keep the 32 pounds if you answer it incorrectly if you answer it correctly you go on the treasure trail at the end of the show tonight you answer a question for 64 pounds and you keep coming back till you get a thousand pounds do you want to try Yes, oh yes, I'll have a go. You want to the try? The 32 it? is not in jeopardy, is it? The 32 is not in what? It's not, not going to be jeopardized. Not in jeopardy. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you, I'll have a go. The 32, my boy, is right in your pocket at the present moment. Right. Okay, fine. Now, here is the treasure trail question. In what countries are the mouths of the following rivers? Now, there's three rivers, and you must get them all correct. The Hooghly River. India? India is right. The Rhine. Mouth of the, Rhine. the mouth of the Rhine. Well, it comes out to the sea in uh, Holland. In Holland, that is correct. And the last one is, where is the mouth of the Orinoco River? In Venezuela, near Trinidad. In Venezuela, near Trinidad. You're quite right. You've won it and you're the show tonight. All right. All right. Congratulations to you. At the end of the show, you're going to try for 64 pounds. And you're going to go on the treasure trail if you win the 64-pound question, all right? And now, Vern, would you mind giving this young man the 32 pounds, which he's already won on the show, and let's give him a big hand. All right? And we shall see him on the end of the program when he tries for the 64-pound question, and he's now well on his way on the treasure trail to 1,000 pounds.
We meet another contestant of ours, this time another lady. All right, dear, right out here, please. Fine. All right, now the first question we always ask our contestants, what is your name? Polly Matthews. Polly? Matthews. Is it Miss or Mrs.? Miss. Miss, so you're not married? No. No, I see. All right. Well, now, Polly, whereabouts are you from? Notting Hill. Notting Hill. Can you come a little closer to me? Would you mind? It's a new suit today, believe me, it is. New oh, suit. Very nice. You like it? Yes, very much. Goes in, goes in again next week. <laughs> Sold. All right. Well, now, Polly, come over here. You come from Notting Hill, is that yes. right? Notting Hill Gate? Yes. Fine. What do you do for a living? I'm a physiotherapist. <laughs> physiotherapist. That's very interesting. We had one at home, but we got rid of it. You know? <laughs> yeah, the wheels dropped off. <laughs> I'm teasing you. Physiotherapists do great, great, great work today, mm -hmm. don't they? They're in all the hospitals? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Fine. Which hospital do you work in? Paddington. Paddington Hospital. Mm -hmm. Well, I think we should... What would you like to talk about this evening? Oh, zoology? Animals? Animals. Zoology? She works in Paddington Hospital. She wants to talk about animals. <laughs> All right, here we come with the animal questions. The animal questions. Last year, I gave an elephant at the zoo a bag of peanuts. I love elephants. Of course, mm -hmm. you know, they never forget. This year, I went to the zoo. He gave me back the nuts. All show. <laughs> Fine, right, Polly? Now, the first question here is for a pound. Does a pole cat live up a pole? No. <laughs> What? No. No, you're perfectly right. It does not live up the bowl. We want to Fine. Next question here is for two pounds. Double your money. Yes. What dogs does Her Majesty the Queen have? Corgi. Corgi? Mm -hmm. Corgis. He's perfectly right, and you've won two pounds. <laughs> Double your money. Yes. You can take two pounds back to that physiotherapy no, machine I'll... now. You go on with it. You yes. will? All right. Here we come for four pounds. What is the name of Mr. Churchill's poodle? For four pounds. Hmm. What is the name of Mr. Churchill's poodle for four pounds? Oh. Hey, oh. very famous, very publicized dog, this. Very nice dog, too. Please don't ever try and help any of the contestants. It's not fair. We do try and play the game. <laughs> what, are you winking at your friends out there or something? Oh, dear, I haven't the faintest idea. You haven't the faintest <laughs> idea? You're very honest. We've loved having you on the show. It's too bad. See you again. All right, big hand for All right, And now back to Huey Green and Double Your Money. Always on our show, we ask a married couple to come up on the stage. This is the time in our program when we invite the married couple to see if two heads are better than one. Tonight, I want you to meet our oldest married couple. Here they are, coming on the stage. Very, very, very nice and good. All right, the first question we're going to ask you, so what is your name? Wally, John. John? Wally. Wally. Yes. And you're, na you're Mrs. Walling? Yes. Yeah. Wonderful. And how long have you been Mr. and Mrs. Walling for? 54, 55 years. 55 years? Yes. You've been married 55 yeah, years, too? The two of you married yeah. 55 years? <laughs> Isn't that 55 years? I think we should pay. 55 years. I'm 78. You're what? 78. You're 78? Yes. And may we ask the lady's age? Is that too rude to do? No, 73. 73 and 78. That's right, isn't it? Well, now tell me, sir, where did you, where did you meet this lady? Uh, in the Mile End Road. In the Mile End Road. <laughs> in the Mile End Road. That's a good place, the Mile End Road. Do you live in the Mile End Road? No. Not now. Not now. Then we did. Then you did. I yeah. see. Where do you live now? In uh, Ballspond Road. Bulls Pump Road, I yeah. see. All right, we always ask this question, too. Who proposed? Did you propose to, to, uh, <laughs> did he yeah. propose to you, love? What? I asked, her, I asked her if she'd like to have a drink. <laughs> you asked her if she'd like to have a drink. It's been a long drink, hasn't it? <laughs> Asked her if she liked to have a drink, and yeah. since then she, she took yeah, she, yeah. more than a drink. Yeah. Very costly, eh? Yeah. I'm nearly broke now. You're nearly broke now. <laughs> well, I'm sure you've had a wonderful time for 55 yeah. years. What would you like to talk about tonight? Well, I don't know much now. I can't talk about now. You don't? No. Not after 55 years? No, no. <laughs> 
Well, what would you like to talk about? <laughs> Eh? Well, I don't know. Really. We've got all kinds of things on the board. We got music yeah. hall, old time music hall. You used to go to the music hall? Yes. yes. You did. Years yeah. ago. Yeah. Years ago. Yeah. You must yeah. have seen my act there if you went years ago. <laughs> I don't think People are always saying to me, oh, great, and those are old jokes. <clears throat> oh, you'd like to try old time music hall? Yes. yes. Would you? Yes. You can try anything else yes. you want. Yes. I mean, you can yes. have architecture, babies. Yes. Would you like babies? No. 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 Too old. No. Two watts, two hours. Two hours. I see. Two hours. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I here we. Mind, wouldn't mind having babies if my wife could go out to work. <laughs> you wouldn't mind having what? Babies if the missus could go out to work. What do you have to say about that? <laughs> eh? Nothing to say about that? No, because you couldn't go to work years ago. You couldn't go to work yet? Oh, I see. Not when you married years ago. They wouldn't take you. They wouldn't take you? No. Not if you were married. Not if you were married, they wouldn't no. take you. You were very fortunate today. They yeah. send you. Yeah. <laughs> they threaten you. They send you. Mm -hmm. All right, kids. Well, here we come. The first question is for a pound. Where is the Metropolitan Music Hall? Uh, Metropolitan Music Hall used to be somewhere up in uh, Queen Street. Where? Queen Street. No, you're a little bit off the edge there. I mean, it's, you're a bit off the edge on that one. <laughs> I want you to be where? Be on your edge <laughs> where? <laughs> Say edge where? Edge oh, where? Oh, edge. oh yeah. Edge, edge where? Whoa, yes. <laughs> All right, now here we come. Double your money, double your money. I want you to name, sir, the premier music hall of England. London Palladium. The London, you believe in that? You think that's right? Yeah. You're quite right. Two pounds. <laughs> but are you having a look? He's <laughs> <laughs> having a bit of a butcher's here, you know. All right. Now then, here we come for four pounds. Double your money for four. Yeah. You'd like yes, to do? Would yes, you like yes. him to do that? Yes. Mm -hmm. You think he should? Yes. What? Yes. Shoot yes. the lock there. Yes. Eh? All right. Here we come for four pounds. Complete the names of the following famous music hall partnerships. And I'm going to name one chap, and I want you to tell me who the other one is. Flanagan and Adam. That's perfectly right. Norton and Gold. 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 Revnor and doesn't matter. You got the first two. You're quite right. You got four pounds. You've got four pounds. Do you want to double your money? Well, we'll all bet we'll have two each, won't we? Yeah. <laughs> we might lose a lot. You might lose a lot, eh? I say. Would you like to try and double mm. it to eight? Yes. What? Yeah, it's all she just fought. Yeah. Well, I tell you. Yeah. You're okay? Yeah, she just fought. Do you really want to have a go? Yeah, she should have a go. Not have a go. <laughs> <laughs> have a go, that's another program. <laughs> <laughs> Double your money. Roger. <laughs> All right. Have a go. All right. Here we come. Now, I want you to tell me, for eight pounds, who was known in the music halls as the handcuff king? Uh, the handcuff king. The handcuff king. Oh, I do know his name, but I forgot it. Oh, you just take your time yeah, now, yeah, and we'll, we'll yeah, just yeah. see if you can get it. Now, the handcuff king. He was an American entertainer. Yes, yeah. his, starts, his name starts with H. H is right. Yes, yes. you're... Now, wait a minute. Hold it. Yes, yes. You're going to get it. H. Yeah, I, 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 I'm going to let you into a secret because you've done so good tonight. The next two letters were O-U. Yes, I think it was, yes. H. I, mean, I couldn't think of it now. You what? I couldn't think of it now. Darling, can you think of it? No. H-O-U. No. All right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you it was Houdini. That's right. Houdini. <laughs> Now, now I tell you what I'm going to... you're going to have double or quits, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I could, but I tell you what I'm going to do. You've been such darn good sports here tonight that we're going to give you six pounds. Is that fair? You are. We are most certainly going to give you six pounds. Here we go. All right. Oh, my goodness. Lovely. All right. Vern will take, take you up. All right, over God you. God bless you. Go on. Thank you, everybody. All right. Bless you. Thank you. All right. Off you go. Well,
London. And next, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like you to meet our youngest married couple. And here they are, our youngest. Well, it's very nice to have you here this evening. How long have you been married? <coughs> Excuse me, I have a... How long? Five weeks. Five weeks? Mm -hmm. Have you been married five weeks, too? Just about. <laughs> Both got married on the same day? Yeah. Same yeah, place? We did, yeah. You did. Mm. Wonderful. Five weeks married. Little applause. Let's make them feel good. <laughs> we should ask you, what are your names? Mr. and Mrs. Taylor. What are you talking for? I mean, this <laughs> <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Taylor. Mr. and Mrs. Taylor. I mean, you agree with that, don't you? I do, yeah. You do, yeah, I yeah. see. What was it before it was, was Mrs. Taylor? Miss Thompson. Miss Thompson. Does it feel a little odd to have people call you Mrs. Taylor now? At first, I'm getting used to it now. You are? Yes. Yeah. What, did you practice? You had people shout at you, Mrs. <laughs> <laughs> you did? Yeah. Oh, well, that's very nice. Mr. T uh, Mr. Uh, t uh, Thompson, is it? Taylor. Mr. Taylor. I <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Taylor, what, uh, what do you do for a living, sir? What is your vocation? Insurance. Insurance? Insurance budget, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, got something here might interest you. <laughs> what, have you been watching the first part of the show or something? <laughs> I see. What kind of insurance do you sell? Anything. Sell anything? Uh, anything. Talk to us afterwards. We'll see what we can do. <laughs> Insure some of my old jokes. That should be very good. <laughs> and what do you do? Do you work at all? Yes, I'm a telephonist. A telephonist. Mm -hmm. I see. Anywhere interesting? Oh, Edmonton, British Oxygen. Ed British Oxygen. Mm -hmm. British, well, we can breathe now. That's one thing. <laughs> That's one thing we can breathe. <laughs> now, what would you like to talk about this evening? Well, not particularly anything, but... Uh, You'd just like to take the money. money. I know. <laughs> <laughs> talk about it. RAF. The RAF. Yes. Were you in the RAF? Yes, I was. You were. How long were you in the RAF? Only the two years. Two years? All right. Well, you should know all the answers to all the questions. Now, here we come. <laughs> the RAF questions. The first one is for Pound, and I want you to tell me, is an <coughs> AC-2 an Air Commodore second class? <laughs> no. <laughs> what? No. Aircraftsman, aircraftsman. Aircraftsman. Dear, do you think that's correct? Oh, yes, he says so. I think that's correct. <laughs> isn't that lo If he says so, isn't that wonderful? <laughs> five weeks married. <laughs> After five years, she'd turn around and say, well, I don't know, she maybe <laughs> crazy. All right, here we come. You're quite right. You won a pound. Double your money? Yeah. What is the difference between a Spitfire and a Hunter? Well, one's a jet, one's a... Um, Prop, turbo, turbo prop. What type of an airplane, though? A flying boat or something? Pardon? Uh, is it a flying boat? I mean, is it... No, um, so a Spitfire a is a fighter. A fighter. And what is a hunter? A hunter is um, a bomber. No, a hunter's a fighter, too. You had it right the first well, time. Well, that's what I was, a jet bomber. So. Oh, I see. Oh, a, a jet fighter. fighter. A jet Sorry. fighter. A jet Sorry, fighter. That's a jet what, fighter. Do you think that's right? I'm sorry. <laughs> Isn't she sweet? You're quite right. It is right. You've won two pounds. Two pounds. Yes. <laughs> Double your money. Double your money. <laughs> Here we come. For four pounds, I want you to tell our friends here, what is a rondelle? A rondelle. A who? A rondelle or a rondelle? I can't remember which, how to pronounce it. I was in the answer. Well, show us the answer and I'll tell you. <laughs> There's the answer right there. You've seen the answer. What is a rondelle? I'll let you into a secret. Every airplane has one. In fact, more than one. One, two, three, four. Yes, more, far more than one. What is a rondelle? Do you know? I don't know. You don't know? No, no don't know. You don't know the answer? No. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, the answer to the question, the answer to the question is, a rondelle is the circular red, white, and blue Air Force Mark on the side of the airplane. Never mind, better luck next time, and thank you very much for coming along. Good luck. All right. All right, friends, how does it feel to be on the treasure trail to winning a thousand pounds. Would you like to meet a man who's on his way to winning a thousand pounds? Well, we're going to meet one right now. All right, sir, out here, the first man to go on the treasure trail to one thousand pounds. Good. Well, now, Alan, you did very well when you answered all those geographical questions in the first part of the program. You passed your test. You're on the treasure trail for a thousand pounds. Now, we're going to ask you a question now. You will have 30 seconds to answer it. If you answer it correctly, you have won 64 pounds. We want you then to come back on our next show, if you've answered it correctly, when you will try for 128 and 256 pounds. If you answer that correctly, you come back the next week, all expenses paid for 512 and finally 1,024 pounds. Now, you all set to answer the question? 
You yeah, feel good about it? All right. Now, yeah, here we are. You, you're going to try it. OK. Now, here we are. There are two parts to the question. You get 30 seconds, and I will tell you when the time starts. The first part, which country is the largest tea exporter in the world? Time starts now. Which country is the largest tea exporter in the world? Pakistan, I should say. Pakistan? From Assam, I should have to guess. Mm. I'll give you the second part to the question. What country is the largest rubber producer in the world? Malaya. No, I'm sorry, Alan. You have not won tonight. You have not won the 64-pound question. The answer to the questions, which country is the largest exporter of tea in the world? The answer is India. And which country is the largest rubber producer in the world? The answer is Indonesia. So once again, friends, next week, the treasure trail will be open. Open for the first contestant to go on his way to 1,000 pounds. Never mind, Alan. You've won 32 pounds. Good luck, big old man. Friends, that is the end of our first television edition of W Money. We do hope that you've enjoyed it. We hope everybody at home has enjoyed it. And all we have to say now is thank you for allowing us to come into your homes. Good night. Thank you.